Hi, I'm Susan Vaughn. Thanks so much for joining me today. So as a paper florist, it's really important to me about how Mother Nature puts her blooms together. I'm certainly no botanist, but the clues that Mother Nature leaves when we're able to take her blooms apart and see how she puts them together is really inspirational for me, and I'm sure it is for you. So if you enjoy learning a little bit about how Mother Nature does her thing, hit click and subscribe. Good morning, my paper flower friends. I had promised for quite a while that I would post a deconstruction video of a beautiful begonia that I have out in the garden. So I went out this morning and I picked this lovely. It's huge. This is easily eight inches across. So this is a really big begonia. And like most begonias, it comes with guard flowers. So the stem is really thick. It's kind of hairy. It's got these big um, calyxes for lack of a better term, but I believe they're probably leaves on it. So I'm going to pull these two off and we will come back to that and we'll do the biggest part of the bloom first. So I've got here my quilling needle and a an X-Acto knife, and I really like using an X-Acto knife with a really small blade on it for this because then I can really get in there. So I'm just gonna kind of, these are pulling off by themselves, pulling out these leaves, and look at the size of them. They are easily four inches wide. Four inches wide and about three inches tall on the biggest outer petals. So I'll start to put this together here. The next petals are smaller and they're more like uh, three and a half inches wide and still three inches tall. And you can see how ruffled and, and fluffy they are. They're colored really pretty. I think this would be really fun to do with probably a Copic marker and some pan pastels to get that color. Or maybe even a Copic marker and some transparent design master spray would be nice. Um, the bloom's pretty simple. We're gonna go down to the next. This is the third row of petals. And these are more like two and a half inches wide and a little shorter, about two and a half inches. Is that right? Oh, about two and three quarter inches tall. So let's take each one of these off. The center is what's gonna be really cool to take apart. Okay, so there's that set. Then there's one more set. And this one's about two, a little over two inches wide and about two and a half inches tall. There's four of those. Oh, they're all, as you can see, they're getting a little smaller. And there's these two other little small petals. It. Go on there. So here's the center. So I'm going to pull these leaves off. They've done their work for us. And we're going to try to figure out how this all comes together. So the calyx is pretty stiff, comes straight out. And I didn't realize this until it's funny how you don't realize things until you actually take the bloom apart. That the center, I never really thought of a center being like this. There's just two teeny weeny little tiny tiny petals, that it's a, a cone shape like a magnolia tip would be, and really heavy pollen out on that stamen. So the stamen itself is about two inches tall from here to the tip, and that's probably about three quarters, yeah, about three quarters of an inch wide total but they're really heavy. We'll take some of these off. Oops, we'll just post them here. And then these, and they're all about the same height, but there's a little cone in the center. I would probably use a little modeling mat, model, modeling clay for that. So there you have that, that's one. 
And I'm gonna move my tape, my workspace over here just a little so that, move my pencil out of the way, so that we can take these little ones apart. So there's the big one. Let's take apart one of these little ones. So this one's got one, two, three, four, five petals. It's got this, these, this is really cool on the outside. Look at the way these, almost like wings come out of this. Um, with the red, it's green with the red coloring on it. I'm gonna leave those on, but I'm gonna take the petals off. And this, these centers are totally different. So um, I'm just gonna try to take these off. Might need to use my exacto knife for this. And these petals are about two and a half inches tall. Some of them curl down, some of them curl up. They have that same striation in the coloring of the petals. So there's three outer leaves, petals, and two inner petals. And then Check this out. Is that just, I'm gonna pull that up close to the camera if I can. Is that just bizarre? Um, I don't know, I, I'd have to go out and look. I think that these will turn into those other stamens that we saw, but it these are all kind of curly cued together. Let's see if I can cut this off. Cut that out of there. Looks like cauliflower really it's really what it looks like it looks like cauliflower how we would make that in paper I'd have to really think about it maybe because uh, they're kind of rolled up on each other maybe take a long piece of fine crepe and twist it really tight and roll it up on itself almost looks like little brains if you will bizarre the rest of it But this, this is, this is the seed pod, I assume. Let's open it up, see what's in there. I'm just gonna cut it down. We'll see if we can pop it open. The ovary, maybe, because I think this is a Tuber, but go near the grows from a tuber. There's another wing. A little membrane there in the middle. I don't know what this is in the center. Let's see if we can get the last little wing off. So it's got three of those little wings. Then it's got these, what looks like a seed. They too, they're covered with pollen. Got it all over my hands. There's three of them in there. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Yep, there's the third one. Kind of butchering this baby, but taking it apart, so. So yeah, um, I don't think you necessarily have to do that part, but you could create the pod itself. But yeah, these are, I'd have to, I'd have to do some research to find out if these are actually seeds. Um, but there you have it. I have pollen all over my hands. There you have it. We have dissected a beautiful, huge begonia. And um, again, I'm going to bring this up close so you can see what that center looks like. That is just bizarre. And then from the back, you can see those little wings around the pod. I love that. That is uh, That would be a real challenge to make. I would love to see what you do. 
If I can figure it out, I'll come up with um, a way to maybe put these together. And as always, if you do make anything from an inspiration from me, please tag me and you can use the hashtag crafting with Susan B. I so appreciate you joining me today. I hope I see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.